Hey there, welcome to Operation Silent Fog. Let's get down on the ground. Oh. Crashed to desktop. That could be just a bug with the game, which isn't fixable right now. Let me try restarting. Just while attempting to gather intel from an Exalt communications relay, if our operative is going to finish the job, Strike One will have to protect them while they hack the remaining arrays. The operative must survive if we have any hope of retrieving that data. We did it. I tried skipping the cutscene as quickly as possible. Seems to have worked. Okay, this can be really tough, and I got... Mm, pretty fucking bad relays. Operative may be dead here. Not gonna write him off just yet, though. <laughs> I might... Mm, it's possible I could just... not... try to grab both... relays. So if I just went for the one straight ahead of him right now, this way, and went around the back, I could get out of the mission. Going for this one, I can hit it. There will be one very scary turn before I get out. This would have been a good time to bring stronger soldiers. Moving to position. Fuck. Salt has a patrol right on the com relay. I didn't bring a tracker on these guys. I realized that as I was re-outfitting the squad because I had to load again, which took me back before I had started the mission. And I figured it would not be fair to change my loadout. Scanner in the air. Okay, so what I might try to do is kill these guys over here. Those are elites, though. And I did not bring the strongest soldiers by any stretch of the imagination. Double time. Let's see if I can stand here. Okay. Here, I'm gonna have to do some tiptoeing this mission. Double time. If I enjoyed these missions even a little bit, I would try to put together squads which could handle situations like this. The problem is I do not enjoy these missions even a little bit. Okay, this is unfortunate. I'm pretty sure I should just get out here. And I should be able to quite easily still. But bringing home the data is not happening. 
So let's just get out of here. Even if I had Sprinter here, I probably would not be leaving the mission. to hack one of the Exalt Relays, Commander. We just have to activate it and that data will be ours. We've successfully hacked the Relay, Commander, while also disrupting Exalt's communication system. We'll need to keep looking for any nearby relays to get the remaining data. Have a zap, friend. So that unloads their guns, hopefully long enough to get him home. I'm just gonna hide these guys. I don't want them to get found. Can I blue move here? With yes. Okay, sure. All right. Watch the sides. So I'm just going to run him into this cover, basically. Stepping off. So I get him here. Commander, we still need our operative to hack the comm relays nearby before they head to the evac point. Same, actually. Jeez, I'm getting some pretty grand ideas right now. Could I? I wonder. Okay. Oh. <laughs> um, okay then. Yeah, fuck exalt missions basically. Okay. All right, so let's get out of here. What's going to happen is we just won't get the mission reward and we won't remove the cell. Means I have to scan again in seven days. Cost me 150 bucks. But it doesn't really cost me 150 bucks because I wasn't going to complete this mission ever. Heading to that location. I'm on it, Commander. Bye bye. Double time. Rolling. Incidentally, the operative isn't actually gone. You can still see the square he's on. I can't move to it. Okay, well that was a fun one. This looks like it might be a very short episode. I could just scan instantly, but they're not well, wait, do I have to scan instantly? Oh, I don't remember. I think I can wait seven days. So I'm going to scan on the 22nd. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I was going to use that money for shaped armor. Not happening. I'm just having a really hard time bringing in the income that I was getting at the beginning of the game right now. Contact detected. Okay, this is the harvest mission, or the, or the research mission rather.
Unless it's a bombing mission, that seems unlikely. I don't think raiders bomb anyway. It's like fighters, destroyers, and battleships, I think. So this is nice. Do I have... I've got a Valkyrie for the mission. Okay. Nice to get a raider instead of the tiny stuff. I'm gonna bring Olsen, let's promote him too. Keep experience coming. Contact detected. I'm like a little bit low on the top of the roster right now. Let's keep putting experience on Luthuli. One Valkyrie. One Corporal Rocketeer. Corporal Sniper. Okay, so I'm not taking this mission for granted, that's for sure. I'm gonna go with the Shredder Assault build. My gunner also has Shredder. But Rocky was wounded for a month from that ridiculous outsider pod activation. I remember it well. And begrudgingly. I will go for outsider captures here. I desperately need outsider captures. And they're gonna get harder to come by after I run the base assault mission. Uh, cause the command pods have a lot of UFOs stop being outsiders. Let's go, cam grenades. And alloy plate, I think. This is more Shredder than we know. The Shredder is way better than the regular rockets right now, actually. I'll go... I'll go Alloy Plate. I do not have a hollow targeting scout on this mission. It's gonna hurt a little bit. Wait a second. Why don't I have a hollow targeting scout on this mission? I have no idea. I think that's actually a pretty important thing to have. Okay, it's fine. I've got hollow targeting on my gunner. That'll work. This is the first mission for Septic. And he rolled very, very, very well on his uh, mech level ups. He's 12 points above average, starting from nothing. Uh, yeah, he's a little ridiculous. Maybe he's good enough to leave his face visible. Probably not though. Here, I'll give him, give him half a face, because he's just that good. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed the brief one. Prepare for episode. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. It looks like the aliens managed to set their ship down in a rural location outside of a small town. We should get down there and secure the area ASAP. And I'll see you next time for Operation Cold Jester.